hey guys, unfortunately it's me again, I'm sorry for the tacky title, but I'm just trying my best, you know. Runway ML released a Gen 3 Alpha video creation AI, and it is apparently pretty powerful if we are to believe all of those videos that, is, that are running in the background. So that is quite sick, and I wonder if we can create something remotely close to that. I've got a couple of ideas, ideas that I wanted to do, and I also already did create. Look at that, there's even snow on the camera. So I think the question is valid. Are we a step closer to, I don't know, maybe replacing rendering or being able to really use video AI? That was kind of spooky. Uh, video AI for those amazing shots. Well, I guess we're about to find out because we are running some tests now. And at the end of the day, we both will know if it's viable for us. And I'll try it out for you because it's not free. You have to pay something. It's not a lot, but like if you can check it out right now. Why waste the money? As soon as you have logged in, you'll see already this banner that you can try out. And if you are not on the premium subscription, all right. If you're not on a premium subscription, you're most likely on Gen 2, which is not what we want. We want to be at Gen 3 Alpha because this is their newest model. And we can already see that there is a guide that is actually very helpful in how to structure this prompt and how to get the results that you want from this service. So I've been talking a lot about credits and about 10 seconds of Gen 3 Alpha takes up about, I think, 100 credits, which means if you take the standard plan, you get 60 seconds of credits, or like 60 seconds of Gen 3 Alpha generation a month. Here you get like 200 seconds. Oh, it actually tells you. It does not. So it's about 10 credits per second of video generation. If you want to just make videos, then you can go here in the unlimited plan. If you go monthly, I think that's a hundred bucks. Yes, exactly. That is a hundred bucks. If you want to just stock up on some credits that you already have, it's about again, 10 bucks per thousand credits. Oh my God, you can crank, you can really, oh my God, you can really crank it up there. Okay, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do it. I still have some credits left and uh, based on this prompt, I will see if we can make something incredible. I've already created something. Uh, let me see if I can find that. Open assets. The idea was a galaxy that twists and turns into a black ink drop that then falls onto a white surface and explodes into a river delta. You can see my prompt on the right side. You have 500 characters to write your prompt. And this is one of the results that I've Gotten. It's actually pretty cool, not gonna lie. Let's go back and create some videos. Let's try it with this. Macro cinematography close up. Zoom in with dynamic motion onto a brown eye with high detailed iris. The eye transitions into a vibrant beach with strong waves and beautiful blue water uh, crashing onto the shore. The eye is highly detailed and belongs to beautiful white red haired woman. The transition from eye to beach is seamless and then we have UHD 4K hyper realistic. 10 seconds would already cost us 100 credits. I'll just go with 5 seconds and we see what's coming up. So it does take a couple of minutes, but no more than like 2 or 3 minutes once you are in the queue. So it's actually quite fast, I have to say. Okay, I just asked ChatGPT if it could improve my prompt. Usually I hate text from ChatGPT, right? Intricate details, stunning brown eye. There's so much ornate language in there. Uh, somebody who has uh, to review papers and all of that for, for a living. I just read so much of this fluff content that it's, it's not funny anymore. So you can easily detect, okay, this has been generated with ChatGPT and nobody took care of it. However, we are talking to an, an AI as well, so maybe it, it helps. This does not look promising. <laughs> it's the other way around. It's a zoom out, but we wanted a zoom in. Zoom in. Let's try it. Let's try. Let's try it again. Begin with extreme close-up shot, dynamically zooming in on a stunning brown eye, capturing every intricate. Let's try it without the fluff content. Macro cinematography close up. Begin with an extreme close up shot, dynamically zooming in on a stunning brown eye, capturing every intricate detail. Let's try that one again. Five seconds. I have to say, I'll, I'll rate it two stars. Backwards motion. That's definitely, I mean, 
maybe if we even zoomed in it would have been something but the eye in the beginning did not really look like a good eye i'll give it a couple more goes and then i'll tell you how it's been okay we can see that the transition just does not work let's ditch the transitions and try just an eye okay 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 let's see how this eye starts this eye does not this eye does not look good, but let's see. That's spooky as hell. But I think it got more of the gist of what we wanted. The eye is photorealistic and let's try a 10 second clip generation. We don't have any transition now. And now let's hope that this one gets us the prompt. In the meantime, I will already craft another one. Um, maybe something a bit more simpler. Okay, 10 second generation of this highly realistic human eye. You can already see that I did something differently on the side, but let's see how this video turned out. I don't know if I like what I'm seeing. I actually don't like what I'm seeing. This is kind of this kind of crazy, not gonna lie. Let's try it with something with something different, all right? A high angle shot of an African river delta with grass and wildlife walking through the water. There are a couple of elephant families trotting through the river water slowly. The time of day is golden hour with a very low sun and beautiful long shadows and deep orange sunlight glazing over the African landscape. Camera motion, a high angle drone shot that moves rapidly over the vast African dunes, whizzing over trees and rivers. And is there something that I'm missing? Uh... Let's try Venetian lighting. Let's go with 10 seconds again. Better luck next time. Okay, hey guys, this looks a bit more promising. Those are some wonky ass elephants, not gonna lie. Okay, maybe it doesn't, maybe it's not good with motion. I'll give it one more shot with something sci-fi. Okay, one last try. One last try. Visual, a futuristic near Shanghai city with lots of neon signs and unfathomable high buildings. Skyscrapers are multiple hundred meters high, high detailed, very narrow alleyways, smoke and dust coming from the vents on the side of the buildings. It's nighttime, but the surroundings are well lit by the neon lights of the sign on the building. Camera motion, high-speed FPV drone shot that flies through the narrow alleyways of the Cyberpunk city with dynamic and rapid motion. Let's go with our trusty old UHD 4K high resolution and I think we're done. And we generate 10 seconds and wait a couple of seconds again. Okay, I'm intrigued. Let's see what it came up with. There is a transition. Look how good it gets after 10 seconds. Look at that. That's amazing. We have some stats over there. I don't know where this is from. This looks like some kind of gameplay now. Look at that. There are some damage counters up there. I think it's taking... That looks like Cyberpunk user interface, not gonna lie. So I think, yeah, there we have some, some user interface as well. I think it's taking some gameplay footage because I said Cyberpunk. I made some changes to the prompt. Densely packed city, FPV drone shot that flies through the very high elevates of the cyberpunk city with dynamic and rapid motion. So last attempt, I said last attempt was my last attempt, but let's just give it a go. Let's be fair. Other people can create amazing stuff and I think it's all in the prompting. I believe it is all in the prompting itself. I would love for it to be a feature to kind of remix what we already did. If we do reuse settings, it just it gives us the, the seed and the resolution, but it's it's not really iterable on the result itself. Okay, last video of the day. That's trippy. I think we had some breakthroughs of some user interface there as well. 
It's still warping very much. I, did I see an Adidas logo? Uh, no, well, it tries to. It's getting the warping from the FPV drone very good. I think I'm happy with that. Well, honestly, I have to say that uh, my testing right now, those couple of videos that I did, weren't quite up to snuff with what I hoped uh, it would it would create. And it's also quite in line with what I achieved a couple of days ago. Oh, there you go. <laughs> with this uh, drop kind of thing. It, it did have some troubles understanding what I really wanted. And maybe, right, benefit of the doubt, maybe it's my prompting. And that might very well be. However, Gen 3, that's Gen 2. I think that, that's Gen 2. So I have to say that the Gen 3 Alpha is what it is. It's an Alpha. And I think for people that have more time on their hands or like have this unlimited plan, it's an amazing tool to actually work with and experiment. However, I was not able to get the results that I wanted. But it's all in the experimentation. But it's all in the experimentation, I think. And so let's hope for the future and see what cool stuff we can create with it.